Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Niaja Farv. Farv spelled correctly, unlike my second cousin, fourth remove, Brett. And I'm going to be talking about data gold and how you can actually find it. So since we all are in the payment space, we deal with tons of transactions on a pretty regular basis. And each of these transactions actually have a little piece of data attached to each of them. And whenever we have large data sets, the thought is that there is gold kind of hiding in there or insights. And the only thing we need to do is capture all of this data, analyze it, and our reward will be little gold nuggets. But when we start to do that, a lot of questions come up. What do we actually collect? How do we collect it all? And how long do we keep it? And this is, does not even start to touch upon the cost factor, um, the cost of storing all of this data on servers, and also the time cost in analyzing data that doesn't result in gold. But you're probably already collecting a lot of data, whether you want to or not. And it comes in many different forms, such as customer issues or requests, retention numbers, even transaction metrics, successes and failures, and just general outages altogether. So step one in finding data gold is about determining current data sets that you already have where gold could be hiding. Step two is to not treat each event as a singular data point but instead try to zoom out and see what events before or after led to the event um, that interests you. One example of this is at Spreedly, we have a test environment where our customers can play around with our API before transitioning over to a production environment. Our success and support team are constantly looking at the events before and after that led to that successful transition. And they use the insights to improve our overall environment. These changes can mean improvements to our documentation, making things more clear, or just pinpointing areas where we need to step in and kind of guide our customers over to that transition point. Step three is to try to find trends or also look at seemingly unrelated events and see how they influence our data. One example of this that I've been currently looking at is our circuit breaker logs. We use our circuit breaker to uh, temporarily shunt traffic to a gateway that might be having issues for a number of reasons. And each time our circuit breaker trips, we actually have a log of it and potentially some data gold hidden there. So instead of looking at each trip as a singular event, we can actually zoom out and look at trends over time on a particular gateway and potentially find times or predict when a gateway will have issues in the future. But we can take this a step further and look at seemingly unrelated gateways and see how they actually influence the current gateway we're looking at. So to summarize, step one is to identify some of your current data sets that could use a little more love. Step two is to kind of zoom out and try to look at events that are happening before and after the one at issue. And step three is to try to find trends and also look at potentially unrelated events that could also be influencing your data sets. It's really easy to analyze data that is directly related to revenue. However, just like the person that was hiding back here that you might not have noticed, data uh, gold is hiding in lots of different places. So I challenge each of you guys to think about a data source that you currently have where you could analyze and potentially find gold. And if you do, I take uh, credit in all currency forms, so come find me anytime during the conference. <laughs>